Robin Baum with Wine, Dine, and Design TV. We are here at Design with Consignment, one of my favorite stores in Austin, Texas. We're going to be interviewing Lisa Gaynor, the owner, to talk a little bit about some different furniture styles and how that ties into design. Hello, welcome to Design with Consignment. I'm Lisa Gaynor. We're going to talk a little bit today about several classic styles in furniture. One of the things we love to get in on consignment is that we get to see furniture from all different periods, all different styles, and we get to help people use them in their decor today to meet their individual style and their individual life. One of our favorite classics is this Louis XV chair. Louis XV was a king of France during most of the 1700s. His reign was 72 years. He was actually born at the Palace of Versailles, and that influenced the entire country of France for almost a century. Uh, it was a very good time in the economy, everything was very positive, the king was actually born, if you could imagine, in a place like Versailles. So they were used to just top-end luxury, sometimes called Rococo. Furniture was made by cabinet makers, and cabinet makers in that time were actually revered in society, and they came up with just absolutely their best work. This is a wonderful example here, this is a fruitwood frame. Uh, you see the curved design on the arms and then also on the cabriole leg here. Uh, it's a very swerving, elegant curve. It's something that's absolutely beautiful. It took a lot of skill to be able to do that. And this is something that has just become a hallmark and is so elegantly rendered and has so many wide uses that it's still used in almost any home style today. Another classic style is Chippendale. Uh, this was going in roughly at the same time that the Louis XV style was happening in France. Chippendale was the big thing in England. He was born in London around the same time and he was a cabinet maker and also the son of a cabinet maker. So woodworking went back in Thomas Chippendale's family for many generations. And this is the classic Chippendale style chair. Uh, you will see the lovely carving and detail up at the top. They also had, interestingly enough, this too is known as a cabriole leg, but in the Chippendale version, you notice that it's got the claw, looks like an eagle claw over a ball on the foot. This is known as a ball and claw foot. So there's a lot of similarities because it was going on in the same time period. They were both made by cabinet makers. This was more the England is in England as opposed to France like the other chair was. And this is also what is known as colonial style because this was the time that the United States was getting established and the families who could afford it and could bring their furniture over, this was the style that was being brought over. And this piece is actually from the era that is my favorite, um, mid-century modern. This is a Le Corbusier uh, Savoy lounger. As you can see, it is drastically different from the other pieces we were looking for. Um, of the, the other pieces were made by cabinet makers. Le Corbusier was actually an architect. So he was more interested in form and function rather than the actual details of how things were put together and all the embellishment. It was more about materials and about lines. And you can see we've got very sleek lines on this piece. It's, it's very interesting. It kind of slides up and down so that you can hit, hit the level of comfort that you want to hit. Also, what's really nice when you're looking at this kind of thing, look at the metalwork on it and look at the quality of the metalwork. You shouldn't see any really big weld marks and where these corners are should be absolutely smooth. There shouldn't be any kinks in them. So when you're looking at something like this and you see those things, you know this is a really quality piece. Um, Cabusier was actually doing his work from the 1920s until his death in 1965. So even though this kind of period is thought of as mid-century modern 50s, 60s, the period actually expands much larger than that. So thank you for visiting Design with Consignment, where you can see the pieces that we've just talked about and many, many, many more in our 10,000 square foot showroom. We're open 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday, noon to 5 on Sunday. We are located at 3301 Stick, just one half block east of Mopac. Come by and see us.